All right, so the book I want to do um, my book share on today is going to be um, the book called Giant Squid by Candace Fleming um, and illustrated by Eric Roman, Ronan. Um, the Giant Squid is basically about scientists who found the largest squid um, and they use pictures in the book to talk about the giant squid. Um, this particular book is actually kind of interesting because most of the pictures are about this giant squid. Um, I want to go back and show some other pictures that are in the book. Um, they have these very artistic and like realistic pictures in the book, which I absolutely love. I love the illustrations. They look awesome. The um, book is really based on um, the beauties of the ocean and the things that are hidden in the ocean and things that you don't see. Um, it also goes into saying that the, um, an injured whale's ring shaped scar indicated an encounter with a giant squid. So giant squids are in their case dangerous and they're obviously dangerous to whales. Um, so it talks about how the squid lives and what kind of research the scientists did um, to learn about giant squids. Um, I didn't know giant squids were a thing until I read this book. Um, I wish I had the book on hand because um, I wanted to show all of the great illustrations in it because um, I read it to my kids a couple of weeks ago and I loved it. And I loved all the illustrations in it and they did too. Um, it's an awesome book. I really really enjoyed it and like I said that my favorite part were the um, illustrations in the book um, those were my favorite and it was very informational while also giving us that nonfiction feel so here's like one of the pages out of the book um, talking about the particular parts of Sorry, let's look at that again. Different parts of the squid um, and how they use that part, those parts. Um, it also has pictures like this um, that are, are very intricate and look so realistic, but yet they're sort of like painted pictures. Um, tells how they capture their food. Obviously, this is how they, they get food. Um, I want to zoom in on this really quick and just show um, how it talks about they have equaling arms that join together. Um, that's how they break their prey in half. Um, also, I think this is the this is like the front, like the front cover, and then this is like the back. So like the pictures run from the front to back. Um, but this this book is a great book. And I love all the little illustrations in it. Um, let's see, do we look at this page? Yeah, we looked at that page. Um, I wish, like I said, I had the book on hand. I, it wasn't my book. Um, and I didn't realize that I was gonna do my book share on this one. I didn't think about doing my book share on this one until I had already returned it. Um, here's a image of the back cover. Um, like I said, it runs from the front to the back cover. I think that's really cool. Um, oh, here's another page. Yes. Okay. Here's another page. I want to zoom in on so you guys can see the page. Okay. And this is just a little excerpt. After all, how can you know about an animal hidden from view? You must rely on clues as the scientists do. Clues left behind by the creatures themselves, a tentacle and eye, pieces found around the world, found over centuries by whales and sailors and people walking the beach. You examine each piece, questioning, guessing, wonder, wondering at all the weirdness of these baffling beasts. Beasts we call, and we would call them the giant squid. So it goes into detail a lot about the squid, but it also keeps that nonfiction feel, which I, I enjoy. Um, and I loved how it was kind of like asking the kids questions as the book went on. Um, and also kind of 
you know, make sure it touched on all the facts of the book um, as well. And, and, and about the squid, um, the giant squid as well. But I, this was a great book. I really like this book. Um, the book has the Orbit, Orbis Pictus Award. It was on the list of Orbis Pictus books that um, got the award, obviously. I don't know if this picture is going to show it, but um, it got the award. Let's see, let me see all three images. Let's see if I can zoom in and show the award. I probably won't be able to, but it has the Orbis Pictures Award right there. And it was also under the list of National Education um teaching books teachers education books um and i also found a little bit about the author too um these were two pages that i found about the author and the illustrator sorry um and um they also had a guided lessons down here which really doesn't pertain to this class but this was a great website for me to find more about the book and um you know, get to get a real understanding of what the book is about and why it was created and that kind of thing and um, how it got on the Orbis Pictus um, list um, and how realistic the illustrations are, which like I said, that was my favorite part about the book. They're so realistic and um, it showed how, I forgot about the part where the it inked as well in the in the book. So this was a really good book. My kids loved it when I read it to them. Um, I would recommend the book. Like I said, it was a great book. I wish I had kept it, but I didn't. But it was an awesome book and I really enjoyed reading it.